Who said this while I'm coming? Shut up, that was not meant to happen. 2022 is mine. <gasps> this one I did not expect at all. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to do a quick little what I got for Christmas because a lot of you have requested this. I don't know if it's just because you're nosy or like you need inspo for like birthdays and things like that. Not sure, but I know I like watching these because I'm just purely nosy. <laughs> but I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a lovely Christmas. I hope you spent it with your loved ones and were COVID free. I hope 2022 is a good year for you. I'm actually filming this on New Year's Eve. So I've got my presents behind me. As you probably know, I actually didn't spend Christmas with my family this year. I spent it at Dan's. Long story short, we were meant to be going to Dubai on Boxing Day. Me, Mum, Dad, Georgia, Emily and Dan. And unfortunately, on Christmas Eve, we got a message saying that my dad had COVID. He had no symptoms. Didn't know he had COVID. Did not expect that at all. I had a real weird gut feeling that we weren't going to get out to Dubai. For, I don't know why. Just my gut was telling me my gut's always right. So I had spent like a week at Dan's before Christmas because we had plans and things like that and it just worked out easier. I stayed here for a little while and then we were planning on going back to mine on Christmas Eve. So yeah, I haven't seen my family. My mum, I literally picked up my presents and then left. Because I've got a bit of time off work now, I just wanted to make sure that I had time to just enjoy myself, not be isolating before I start my new job. So yeah, I come back to Dan's for Christmas and his family were lovely. They had me over for Christmas and made me feel like part of the family, you know. Not that they don't anyway, but Christmas is a family occasion, so it was quite nice to feel part of the family and part of the furniture, to be honest, because I haven't gone home yet. I've <laughs> been here for like two weeks, three weeks. <laughs> oh, they're trying to get rid of me secretly. But yeah, let's get on with the video anyway, because I'm chatting so much rubbish. Obviously, as I say all the time, I'm going to try and get back on with the videos. Wish me luck. I'm going to try my best and yeah, make sure you follow Dan and Rob's because we're going to be uploading videos on there too. I just have my makeup done as well by my friend Charlie. Hence my video now, because why not? I look glam. <laughs> but I'm just still in a tracksuit. I'm like, yeah, whatever. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Let's start at the beginning. I haven't tried this yet. I'm really excited to try it. I think I'm going to put it on tonight. But I got this little lip kit from Charlotte Tilbury, which I actually got my mum and sister as well. So, coincidence. Um, but I'm really excited to try this. Apparently, it's meant to be amazing. And it's always sold out. And I went on the other day to try and find something else. And it sold out again. So I'm lucky that I got them when I did. But it looks really cute. So I'm looking forward to trying that. It is called Pillow Talk Lip Secrets. I got some mugs. So you guys know how much I love my cup of tea. And how much I love Arsenal. So coming in handy. But I love them. I can't wait to use those. I've got some just like little bits of makeup. This is like my go-to mascara. Maybelline Sky High. Absolutely adore it. All from my mum and dad, by the way. Emily kindly got me this translucent powder from Laura Mercier. I tried hers the other week and I was like, oh my god, obsessed. It is so good. I love it. And I have used that already. I've just taken my time to film this, I know. I was waiting for my ring light. Don't don't at me. It's the translucent loose setting powder. Thank you, Ams. Some more Charlotte Tilbury makeup. This is I just need a top up of the airbrush flawless finish from Mum and Dad. Thank you very much. In sacks from my little Polaroid camera. These just always come in handy. But I keep forgetting to take photos of my Polaroid, so that's gonna come out tonight. My auntie kindly got me a Zara gift voucher. So I am buzzing with that. Zara is my favourite shop ever and a gift card always comes in handy she also got me this and i haven't actually probably opened it yet but it's like a little light up with my name on it which is really cute basically i've kept everything in the box because i wanted everything together and I, I always do this at christmas i keep everything together and then all of a sudden one day i'll just go for it and put it everywhere and where i need it and stuff but this is my name honestly dan has the loudest voice in the whole world he doesn't know how to like there we go he doesn't know how to like have like an indoor voice everything he does is loud he said tell me if you can hear the music so i've just texted him saying i can't hear the music but i can hear your blooming voice <laughs> i've got a dance floor for christmas and we've all just been absolutely rinsing the dartboard <laughs> on that note i've got some professional darts i've got my own, my own darts for dan's dartboard love that some chocolates from my mum and dad because they always get me chocolates this i've actually had to open because i had no gum if you know me you know i always have gum on me some extra chewing gums always come in handy i've got a candle to go with this smell but i don't know where it's gone it was on the side and i think dan's put it away somewhere but i don't know where he's put it but i've got a little diffuser which smells beautiful well i guess it does because i think it smells like the candle because they're the same scent but i don't know where the candle's gone but the candle's lovely as well that's from dan's auntie and cousins which is really kind thank you guys this is from my nan and granddad it's a little benefit kit the eyebrow pencil is my go-to pencil i don't know about you guys but i love it i'm obsessed and hula absolute goat that's from my nan and granddad that's really cute thanks nan and 
Ryan if you're watching. This is from George. James gave me a bottle of alcohol which I drank on Christmas Day. It was a bottle of Ponce Martini and it was unbelievable. Thanks James and George. James obviously wasn't here. The food darts also, so I forgot to mention one from James and George as well. So thanks boys. Oh, I got this mug as well from Dan's auntie. And he has some pictures of the marathon day, which is really cute. And Dan just made me a cup of tea, so we'll sip this while I'm coming. I've got this really beautiful jacket from Tina and Steve, which is Dan's mum and dad. I'm absolutely obsessed. I can't wait to wear this. I know that Amelie's going to love this as well. It's absolutely love it. I love the colours, the pink and the green, just amazing. This is from my nanny. I feel like I'm going through everything now. She got me a little cute teddy bear. That is so cute and it's so cuddly. Yeah, that is adorable. I got these pajamas from Dan's nan and granddad. They're really cute. They're very similar to ones that Amelie got me for Christmas Eve pajamas. These are some Christmas Eve pajamas that Amelie got me from Pink. They are so comfy. I think I'm going to live in these. They are so nice. They're very similar to them, but obviously they're short and these are long. I got some tracksuits. Now, I don't know which one's from my mum. I don't know which one's from my nan. I got a patrol tracksuit. I won't get this one out because I need to go back in the car in a minute. And I got this tracksuit from Couture. I ordered quite a lot from there recently. Just a crop today. I actually wore that the other day to blue water. And then I got the bottoms too. My sister Georgia kindly got me a nail voucher to a nail shop. And she also got me this bad boy. Ariana's new perfume, God is a Woman. Absolutely amazing. Her perfumes are literally like the best perfumes in the whole world. Not even joking. They're so reasonably priced as well. And they smell and they last for ages. So thank you very much, Georgia. And we love Ari. Yeah, her perfumes are the best. Ever. My favourite. My nan also got me some really cute. I never know how you say this word. I never know how you say that, but you know what I'm talking about, guys. And they're like little moon shape. Sugar, that was not meant to happen. Really pretty. I haven't put them in yet because I just want to show you guys first. But they're really, really, really pretty. So I'm going to put them in tonight, I think. Actually, no, I might keep these ones in because this one's here. I've got one at the moment. A butterflies, so they're like in half, like butterflies. And Tina actually got me them for when my grandma passed away. Grandma passed away in February, but I think I've got them in about March, and I've just not taken them out since. And they're from Pandora, and they're just beautiful. They're such a lovely gift. But I'm going to switch back and forward from the butterflies to the moon. But because I'm going into the new year without my granddad, I kind of need him with me. This is the first new year I'm going into, obviously without him, and it's tough, really tough. But he wouldn't want to see me upset, so I'm going to try not to get upset tonight. I got these from my nan. Again, I haven't worn them yet because I'm too scared to wear them. I just love them i got some fresh ugg slippers i took this out the other day and i was like oh my god damn put your hand in there it's just like the softest thing ever but i'm obsessed the color is beautiful and i just love them so thank you so much nanny i'm in love with them so my airpods actually broke not long ago dan's actually replaced my airpods with some new ones which is really kind i need to set these up because i'm gonna need them every day of my life so thank you daniel i appreciate that and i also got this which amelie got as well so She's probably not going to be happy with me. But Dan got me this. I love the colour and it is so nice. We weren't going to spend too much money on each other this year. Because we were going to do buying stuff. We were like, right, let's limit it. Let's not do too much. You know, blah, blah, blah. So we put a limit on it. And then didn't go to buy. But it's fine. We need to save money anyway. Because 2022 is the month. <laughs> so yeah, um, 2022 is the year of saving for me and Dan. Ryan, but he got me this beautiful frame of all photos of like memories of 2021 that we had together. Oh my god, the ring light. It's just the most warm, warm present ever and I just absolutely love it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, getting something personalised over everything else, like materialistic and everything, there's nothing better. Personalised stuff is my fave. But yeah, these are just some photos of us from 2021, which is really cute. Thanks, Dan. That is really thoughtful and really kind. I've also got something on its way, which I actually got on my grandma's birthday. Your girl's gonna try and get into her fitness again this year. And my parents have kindly bought me an Apple Watch, but it was out of stock because my cousin works at Apple, so she was getting it in for us. And when my mum went to order, my cousin was like, oh, it's out of stock. So I think we've had to pre order it so I can pick that up on the 4th of Jan. So I'm really excited for that, but obviously I haven't gone yet because it's only the 31st of December. So I'll get that in a couple of weeks, a couple of days actually. I'm excited for that and then I'm gonna get back into my fitness counting my steps every day counting my how many calories I've burned and everything like that so I'm excited but I also I knew about that anyway because my mom actually mentioned that before Christmas but this one I did not expect at all and I was this close to buying it the other day are you ready this is like my big reveal so I went online I was like oh I'm gonna go in online with Dan blah 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 long story short I was like oh I want to get a new scarf or get something nice to wear and I went online and I found the most beautiful scarf and I was just like, that has my name written all over it. And little did I know, I left it open on my mum's laptop and I think she's then 
purchase it and it is just stunning but you're not ready for this guys you are not ready it is beautiful and it says so like pink on one side and white on the other so it's just beautiful it's quite big it's bigger than i thought it was going to be yeah it's just a beautiful beautiful scarf for Balenciaga. Yeah, I did not expect this at all. This. I haven't even used it yet because I'm just too scared to get dirty. And I haven't really had anyone to use it, but I'm so excited to use it. You don't even understand. I really wanted to go to Winter Wonderland this year so I could just wear my scarf, but that shuts in a couple of days. So I don't think we're going to get time to do that, but never mind. Yeah, so that was my surprise present. I was just literally like, and Dan knew about it. I think my mum had told her. Told Told him? Told him. So he was like, oh, I know what's in that box. And I was like, what is in that box? I was thinking like, oh, it's going to be like something just to say, oh, your Apple Watch is coming before for Jan or whatever. No, it was a scarf. So, yeah, thank you so much, Mum and Dad. I did not expect that at all. And I'm absolutely obsessed. I love it so much. It's so cute. But, yeah, I think I've rambled on for way longer than I expected. There might be a couple of things missing because I'm not going to lie. I've taken over Dan's room and it's a mess. He hates me for it right now, but it's fine. We move. I'm going to go back home tomorrow to see my family. I'm going to pack up the car and get ready to go in the morning. For now, me and Dan are gonna go and make some dinner. We're gonna have some steak tonight, me and Dan. And then we're gonna have some like family and friends over. So spend New Year's Eve here and then spend New Year's Day at my house. We've got football tomorrow at Arsenal playing Man City. But me and Dan aren't actually going now, which is really annoying. But my dad's going. Never mind. I don't know when this video's going up, but hopefully it'll be really soon because you know you girls bad at editing and stuff. I'm trying, I'm trying to be better. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. My goal for 2022 is to hit 10k subscribers on YouTube, so please help me hit my goal. I would really appreciate that. Um, me and Dan are just about to film another YouTube video for my channel again, but that'll come shortly after. I don't actually know what we're in tonight for New Year's Eve, but that's what the video is all about, so head over and have a look at that and check that video out. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely New Year's Eve and the best 2022 possible.